Good afternoon, everybody. Here's a question I'm going to pose for everybody. Can my $429 Zizzo Urbano be as much fun as my $2,900 Cervelo Aspero? <laughs> yeah, some people are laughing. Say, Dave, you're crazy. There's no way this bike, the Zizzo, can even compare to your Cervelo. Well, guys, for fun... And that's what the question was. Can it be as much fun? Absolutely, guys. Now, the Zizzo Urbano is just designed for street riding. That's why they put the little wider tire on it. A little bit heavier frame than the Libertaire. Eight-speed group set. Uh, free wheel on it. Makes a ton of noise. And a few creaks and cranks you get out of the front end that I just can't figure out. So I thought it was over-tined or under-tined. You know what? It's just the way it is. But my Libertaire makes no noise. Now my Cervelo, she's a purebred uh, carbon fiber gravel bike. I mean, it's got all the bells and whistles. Everything I'll ever need. You know, more than enough than I'll ever need. Beautiful group set. Beautiful frame and fork. Um, everything on this bike is perfect. Uh, the wide Donnellys. I believe they're 700 by 40 versus the 20 inch by 1.95 CST, some cheap Chinese tire, versus a British Donnelly tire, which is a ton more supple. Uh, the very, very efficient frame and compliant frame versus a little tiny frame that's fun, that's a lot of fun. And, and that's the difference, guys. When I took this on a little bit of gravel, it was just fun listening to the rocks underneath, listening to the gravel. Nothing slip or slid. The only difference, slip or slid, slip or slide it. The only difference was I wish it was in clipless pedals. Because that would help a lot on the torque. But again, I have to keep reminding myself, this bike isn't designed for pure gravel. It's just designed to go everywhere efficiently. It's not designed to be aggressive in gravel. It's not designed for any of that. That's why I have the Aspero. That's why I have this bike. And uh, this bike, man, when I bought it, you know, I thought I was getting too much bike. But uh, I'm glad I got it because it is the perfect gravel bike. When you're out there and you're pounding the gravel and the rocks and everything else, it just glides through everything. It's so light and uh, so efficient. For this bike, you just keep smiling. And you smile because... People are passing you up on gravel bikes and mountain bikes on the trails. And they look at this bike. Man, this dude's a dork. Why is he riding this little tiny 20-inch bike? Well, I'm riding because I have a lot of fun on it, guys. And, you know, I do have a bike that can compete as well as a bike that makes smiles. So what do you prefer, smiles or competition? I don't know, guys. I've really been enjoying the smiles. All right, guys, you have any questions, please let me know.